Hi, welcome to Sea Bugs Record, some of the new arrivals for the week of June 18th. Please like and subscribe, thank you if you already have. Now this week has been a little bit of a failure for me as far as buying records. Um, two reasons. I'll go over the first reason. I went to the Elephant's Trunk, which is my favorite flea market, and I usually I usually know I need to bring a lot of money and I'm going to come, a lot, come out with a lot of great stuff. So I had a wallet full of money, and I got there, and there were no record dealers. And I realized there was a record show in New Haven, and the first one in a long, long time. So all the record dealers went there. Now, there are some people still selling records, but none of the people who just specialized in records, they can really find the good stuff when you need to. So I still got some stuff. I'll show you what I got. I didn't spend a tremendous amount of money at least on records. Uh, I got Ray Gallman, but we got about 10 for that. Maybe nine. Uh, Journey Escape usually goes around 13. Same with Stevie Nicks, about 13. A lot of Greatest Hits. Elton John, Greatest Hits would be 14. Janis Joplin, Greatest Hits, 15. Flock of Seagulls, Best Of. I didn't know this is, existed. It's actually pretty good. Um, probably about 10 for that. Best of the Blues Brothers, probably eight or nine. And best of Willie Nelson, probably around 10. Um, so, you know, not bad stuff, but not really worth the trip. You know, that ends up being almost an hour and a half. So kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. The other reason is I got a lot that came in here and it was a big lot and I paid too much for it. And I usually don't make that mistake but what i do is when it's a big lot i don't i don't look meticulously through everything it would just take too long and people don't want to wait that long you know it's in their car it's actually raining at the time so i looked through it i saw some gems and after a little haggling we came up with 175 dollars now i'm going to show you the highlights of what i got and some are very good, uh, but for others, the condition wasn't there. I would strongly suggest if you like the, um, if you look at the discount albums when you're in here, there's going to be some good stuff there. there. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, I, I didn't look at carefully and I can sell. They still sound good, uh, but there might be a little scratchiness, might be some pops here and there. So, you know, in that sense, I got a lot of stuff, so I'll put it in there. But this is the stuff that, you know, is really good that I'm happy with, but I'm not sure 175 was a good price for me to pay. Um, I'm not going to lose money, but I don't know how much I'm going to make, and like three quarters of it is already at the Goodwill. So this, this was a large lot. I will start with uh, the, Tron, the Tron soundtrack. Now, I was very surprised how much this is worth. Now, the vinyl is a uh, very nice shape. Sleeves a little, there's little issues. It's not great. But this is going. People, I think the lowest right now on eBay is like 80. I don't know if they'll get that, but there's not a lot on it. I think I'm going to put it for 40. Um, we'll see what happens there. This one, again, the sleeves a little damage. I just thought this was cute. It's a compilation and it's called what, Tear Drop Time and it's all about songs about crying. So you got Crying in the Chapel, um, Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, things like that. So it's kind of interesting. Probably about 10 bucks on that. Uh, Jimi Hendrix probably I think I usually go for about 12 uh, another Stevie Nicks, 13. Got some Beatles and Beatles type things. First live recording. Uh, probably about 16 on that. That revolver. The sleeve has some issues. It's torn. The vinyl is very nice. Plays nicely. Uh, somewhere around 20. Same with the rubber sole. Somewhere around 20. Help. Somewhere around 20. Now this is good. This is the one... One that really sold me. Um, George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. Just a beautiful copy. Um, there's, these are always 
The sides are always broken. I don't think they are at all on this one. So you don't usually see one this nice. So probably about 45 for that. Let's see, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, Milk and Honey, nine or 10 bucks. Um, I should know this, what is this called? This is my favorite John Lennon album. And I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's just called Plastic Ono Band. This is really good. Um, probably about 10 for that. Heart Play, Unfinished Dialogue, a spoken word documentary with John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Yeah, probably around 10. Now we got two just Yoko Ono. These are in very nice shape. Whenever I get records that are a little more expensive, I try to make sure I listen to them. I'm not going to listen to these. I can't do it. I can't even try. Probably about 10 to 12 each. Um, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. All right, we got some other stuff. We got Star Wars. Um, I think we got Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I just had to make sure it was a, both albums were there. So that's around 18, a little bit of an issue. This is interesting. This is, I don't know. I meant to look. I don't know if that's a, um, you play this at 45 or 33. I don't see it. I don't want to take time. Um, but this one, if it was the full album, is quite valuable. So this will still be at least 20 bucks. Uh, let's see, I'll go quickly. Sly and the Family Stone, Meatloaf. Oh, here's another beetle. Another nice condition, Hey Jude. I'm just gonna slide things over a little bit. Do a few more. Elton John, about 13. The Bayella Burke Road. JJ Kale, fantastic album. About 12 on that. And Let's see, The Police, Every Breath You Take, the singles, probably about 15 for that. We'll finish up with these two, Harvest, maybe about 30, Neil Young, obviously, and Queen, Live, Killers, um, probably about 35 for that. So there's some good stuff in there, but, you know, I, I did have to pay up for it. Um, and just considering all the work and everything else, um, I'm not sure it was a great deal, but I'll do, do all right. And because I wasn't really happy with everything, I brought in some heavy metal from home. So I'm just going to go quick. White Snake, I got three of them. They're all going to be about 30 bucks. A couple Judas Priests, probably about 25 each. Uh, let's see. ACDC, this one's about 18. Ace Freely from Kiss, that'll be about yeah, 14 and we'll finish up with Ozzy Osbourne with a Randy Rhodes tribute this is great probably around 40 for this so we did all right not my finest week but I will do better thank you for watching hope to see you in here